you are now. Can everyone hear me? Yeah. Good. I'm now very pleased to um, welcome our next speaker, who is Richard Caldry, who originates from Crosby and so is very happy to come back here today. Um, he's from Transition Together, which is the national umbrella organisation <coughs> for transition towns for England, Scotland and Wales. Um, a, a warm welcome to you, Richard, and thank you for uh, being willing to uh, do what you're about to do for us today. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. I'm Richard. Uh, thanks for the warm introduction, Margaret, and thanks for having me here today. I'm going to talk a little bit, Margaret said, can you talk a bit about networks for climate action Building collaboration and maximising benefits. It's still a little bit live for me. Yeah, yeah. Um, and yet, yeah, I love networks. I love the idea of getting people together. I'm a true believer in the idea that time together is time well spent. Point. It really is. Just simply, if we did nothing today but talk to each other, we'd go away with smiles on our faces. And I'm going to talk a little bit over the next 20 minutes or so about ideas of sharing ideas of supporting each other, ideas of celebrating whatever work we do, and ideas of that all adding up to us being part of a bigger picture. So look at this. Let's just have a little look around the room right now of these 40 or so people who are also doing stuff in their localities, right? I'm going to talk about, hey, this doesn't happen by accident. Just going to ask for the first round of applause of the day for Margaret, who's put the day together. And maybe Needs a bit of structure, needs a bit of a bit of that time. I'm going to talk a bit about communications and what we're going to do naturally connecting to other organisations. Why? I'm going to talk about the idea of bringing challenge to us, the idea of synergies between the action we do, and the idea of sensing opportunities. So I thought I'd say all that up front and then we're going to touch on that over the next 20 minutes or so. But the first thing I'm going to ask you to do is draw a map. Margaret loves a good map, right? Draw a map. And the map is going to be as big as this room. And I'm going to take a license with the compass. So I'm going to say Liverpool City Centre is here. We're broadly in Liverpool City region, right? Yeah? So Liverpool City Centre is here. I'm going to check the expressions. North is that way. <laughs> north is that way? Should we say that end of the room is north? Okay. So if I'm city centre, I'd love you all to stand up, if you can, if you're comfortable to do so. And find a place, draw this map together by talking to each other of whereabouts your action, whatever it is, it's climate action or social justice action, is on this map of Liverpool. North is that way, I'm the centre. Go. And if you're like, we have sort of everywhere, just come to the south west.
disruption, yeah? It's a really important part of the story, protest and disruption. We can talk about that. This is now onto, the, onto a bit of an edge, right, of what we consider activism. I'm going to use that word as well a bit today. Thanks so much. It's our online connection, yeah? Fantastic. I'm going to come around here. Uh, yeah, I'm, I work with cycling groups in Liverpool as well as I've been working in Southport as well, so I can go work, try and work across this region. Fantastic. I cycled against the headwind from the centre to Crosby yesterday. It took a lot longer than I thought. <laughs> and, and over here? Um, I'm a sci artist. I lecture at John Laws and I run out on the Sea Library. Amazing. So, Sea Library. So, I've gone around the outside there. What I'm going to invite for the next few minutes, I'm trying to keep an eye on time, is the people in the centre to go and find someone on the outside, just one on one, and ask them to tell you a story of their time of action. It's just going to be a few minutes, so go find someone, the people in the centre, go find someone on the outside and see if they can, see if you can hear a bit of a story. Wonderful. It's starting to feel really hard to do that as the conversation starts to bubble, right? Okay, I'm going to ask you to come into a circle. If you can't, are you comfortable standing for another five minutes or so? Is that okay? But yeah, come into the circle with the pipes and the chairs. Yeah? Okay. So we're just going to invite you in a little bit. I'm going to ask with popcorn, two or three, two or three people, were, was there a story that surprised you? Something about the story that surprised you? Are you like, ah, that's cool. Okay, cool, there's three, that's right. Just to get flavour. Um, I'd just like to hear from people who have recently come to the city or people who don't normally work with transition or are finding us finding us in you. Uh, it's really nice to see that we've reached reached those voices and we can bring them into the conversation today. Brilliant. Brilliant, yeah, absolutely great to have you forward. Just gonna come over here and I'll come back to you. So a story that you heard that surprised you. I was absolutely amazed by Steph's story. She researched air pollution around Liverpool Airport and she's managed by convincing Liverpool City Council that it is uh, a pollution risk to put the expansion on hold and to with, uh, get them to withdraw some money from the uh, airport that they're funding for it. So I thought that was amazing. Fantastic. I might do this sometime. <laughs> just start the so you can keep it away. Thank you. It is a really important story. I'm going to do something with everyone just now. Thank you. Okay, brilliant. So the idea of that was to demonstrate the idea of sharing, right? It's, isn't it great to hear stories? You get beyond the kind of online presentation of things, the online, you know, snapshot on Twitter. I'm going to keep calling it Twitter. The online snapshot of things, and you start to get behind things, and start to hear really important things like, hey, how do we hear all voices, the algorithms of Twitter, and what that pushes towards is how do we get beyond that? By meeting each other and sharing stories, a big part of networking for me. And you start to hear the challenges, start to bring the challenges in the room and start thinking about how do we support each other around those challenges, right? So I brought some wool today. I'm going to use the wool trick. So let me just nip over. Thank you. So this is to demonstrate a little bit about how we're all connected today. I had to borrow some of my mum's wool as well, just in case the group was really big. Actually, I'll put it behind you because you're going to need your hands. So the idea of this is to show how we're connected all together. You might need to come in a little bit further. Could I have to get a volunteer to start? Yeah? Is that okay? Do we want you starting? So you're going to need that. You're going to need to unravel it a bit. And the idea is you look around the circle, and all I'm going to ask is someone you're connected to in your activism, right? Mm -hmm. And why? And you grab the wool and you throw it over to them. Best you can, and I'll try and help in the middle, although the middle's going to get a bit busy. So just somebody you're connected to, and that person will hold the, hold the wool and look to someone else to throw it all over to. Does that make sense? Off you go. I'm connected to Peter Owen alleviating fuel poverty. <laughs> 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 It's going to have to be Annie, sorry, because yeah. I don't want to send it all the way back. It's always last at sport. Can't keep hold of it. Oh, oh okay. sorry. Yeah, that's it. I failed already. Just make it a little bit, just pull a little bit of tension as you go. There you go. And the same connection as well. 
Yeah, say the connection, that's it, yeah. So my connection is that I think that's right, that's it. I think we spend things out of my picture, it's unreal. And we do joint projects. Do joint projects. I remember to chase the mic as well. Okay, cool. So I'm going to be really ambitious here, being last at sport at school and having no geographical sense of direction. I'm going for Paul Riley. Um, on a number of connections, um, working with Transition last weekend with Margaret, um, the L8 Cycle of Life group who planted loads of onions and garlic um, in one of the community gardens we work in for the food <coughs> bank last year, and also a recent discovery of mine that Paul was the double bass player in the Random Family. <laughs> hey! <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> That's it, all my and I'm just going to ask her to look after time because Margaret probably got a clock ticking in her head. <laughs> just just <laughs> like one thing that connects you to this first, to the next person you're going to throw to, and I'm going to hold the mic as best I can. Okay. Uh, I am going to pass to Stephanie, who um, I first met in transition, and then we've met through Friends of the Earth as well, and our paths keep crossing, so it seems like. Thank you, thank you. Excuse me, this bit's a bit tight around here, isn't it? Okay, I think I'll send this to, just for a name, that's Jenny, um, Steph, what was your name again? Sheila. Sheila. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know many people here, but um, I had a nice chat with Sheila when I got here about her fun biodiversity in her garden and all the joy it brings. <laughs> Amazing. So also this can be about spirit, right? You just heard something already, that connects me a little bit to that person as well as like actual projects or whatever, so. Well, I'd like to draw in Tracy because for many years we've been an actors yeah. fighting over various things, peel holding on one of them, and also I go to the seed sorting um, session in the um, squash of Tracy. This is before lockdown, but he was a regular <laughs> visitor to our French and cafes on a monthly basis. Okay. So friendship cafes on a monthly basis then, a new connection. Of course it's right there. Okay. Of A little bit. This is like the web map, you know, with all this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I'm just going to say a couple things about networks within this web. Can you see how we're all connected? I might just nip in the middle just so you yeah. all can see. In fact, I'll kneel. This is a great view, my goodness. We tighten up that loose end. So I wanted to do this to represent, we talked about sharing, right, the network, sharing our stories, sharing our challenges as well, personal challenges, global scale challenges. Why? To support each other. Check out this web, right? Check out how connected it is. I reckon I could lie in it if I lost a couple of kilos. Just look around and celebrate the action going on. These familiar values of networks. If we just stayed on our own, we wouldn't get to do these things as strongly. But together, the 40 of us can celebrate each other's work. Such diversity in the room of activity. I'm not going to say everyone's here, because they're definitely not. But the diversity of activity in this room to celebrate. Why? The link is part of, part of a bigger picture, right? You can see it now with the mum's wool. talked about it before, a little bit of structure to keep this network together, but not a lot. Just come along to this room on this day. Yeah? 
We're videoing and recording this. We're communicating. Are we doing it live as well? Is it communicating live? No. Okay. So we'll share recordings of this. Communicate about how strong this network is. And through our network, we can reach much more people. Right? The little ideas can bounce further on. We can help each other amplify when it's right to do it, when it's right for us. How many groups in the room connect beyond? So this is one from a transition sound perspective. Connecting beyond the groups that I'm in, right, to other groups. These for me are seven really important ingredients of networks. And I would say it helps us explore our challenges. And let's be open to that today. Challenges, the points where we disagree or it feels uncomfortable. My friend Monica calls about, talks about being comfortable in the uncomfortable. Trying to get to a place where you can start to expand and let go of your ideas as well as hold on to them. Yeah? The idea of synergy, which common projects might we amplify together and support each other on, right? And the idea of opportunity, what comes next? That's a little bit about networks. And if we let go of the string one by one, you can see, I won't be under here for this, but <coughs> I'll crawl out just to, just to end today. So just do it intuitively. Just one by one, let go and see what happens when there's no network there. Enjoy your day. Thanks very, very much.